I had been trying to tune my 80-20 meter loaded coil dipole antenna for the past few days. 20 meter band was workable in last day's tuning though 80 meter band was nowhere near it. I had a quick round of tuning today morning before going out for Sunday routines. Pulled out the antenna wires to the terrace and quickly trimmed 10 cm from each side and fixed back the loading coils. Went down quickly to check SWR. To my surprise, both 80 meter and 20 meter bands showed high SWR quite beyond the tuning range of my radio and I was puzzled. This was the SWR on lower end of 20 meter band showing it very high. This was the tested 14.100 MHz again very high. See that it was very high at the upper end of 20 meter band as well and I was thoroughly confused on what had happened with an antenna with which I had worked DX yesterday and had only trimmed just 10 cm on either side. For a curiosity, I checked on upper end of 30 meter band which had a SWR of 5 earlier and I was pleasantly surprised to see that SWR was only about 2. Checked at the lower part of 30 meter band and it was similar. Though I was still confused, I was happy to have an antenna to work 30 meter on which I have had only one CWQSO so far that too with my N-fed half wave dipole antenna for 20 meter using the auto tuner in FT710. Started brainstorming on what would have caused such unusual behavior of my 80-20 meter loaded coil dipole antenna. Initially I thought that it could be because I had removed a patch cable at the radio end of the feed line because it had developed loose contact at the SO239 end. This patch cable had SO239 at one end and PL259 at the other end. It was meant to reduce the wear and tear to the SO239 on the radio with repeated connections and removals during my antenna experiments. Even during routine operations, I usually remove the antenna from the socket whenever I stop working to prevent potential lightning hazards to the radio. But I was rather suspicious of why removing such a short patch cable should change the SWR significantly on 20 meter band. Anyway, I did not have time for further brainstorming as I had to go out. On my return, I saw this and the mystery was solved. In my hurry to go out, I had forgotten to tie the antenna ends to the lower supports and the antenna elements were right on the garden plans. That easily explained the high SWR on previously working 20 meter band. Immediately, I tied the antenna elements on the lower supports and went back to the shack for testing. Learning point, haste makes waste. Checked SWR first on 30 meter and it was around 4 shattering my interim dream of working a lot of stations on 10 MHz band. SWR on the upper end of 20 meter band was around 2 which was quite expected. SWR was almost similar at 14.200 MHz. SWR was slightly above 2 at 14.010 MHz within the tunable range of the built-in automatic antenna tuner of my FT710 radio. These findings suggest that the resonance is still below the lower end of the 20 meter amateur radio band and I will have to trim the elements before the loading coil once again to make it resonate for 20 meter band. Once again reiterating the learning point, whenever all SWR values are seen, go out and have a visual inspection of the antenna elements.